You're watching CBS 2 News. Here's the latest at 5.30. And now at 5.30, a change of heart about holiday travel. Some Americans have already canceled their plans over concerns over the Delta variant. Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 5. I'm Jeff Vaughn. And I'm Pat Harvey. Now, a recent poll by destination analysts found more than 23% of people surveyed said they had canceled an upcoming trip due to the pandemic. Almost 27% postponed travel for the same reason. About 68% still plan to travel later this year. But that's down from nearly 79% in June. So do you feel anxious about your holiday plans? Join us to help you make it through those tough decisions. Dr. Megan Mesher-Cox, a physician at St. John's in Oxnard. And we're also joined by travel expert Johnny Jett. Welcome to you both. But doctor, we will start with you. If people decide to travel, how can they stay safe against the uh, Delta variant? Yeah, great. The best way for us to stay safe is to be fully vaccinated. Vaccinated or unvaccinated when we're traveling, especially in any indoor space, making sure we have a well-fitting mask over the nose and mouth. If someone's unvaccinated, getting tested before one to three days before your travel plans, and then once you return, um, getting tested five to seven days when you get back, um, and making sure that you keep contact precautions from people as well. Um, also, a lot of it has to do with if you're going to an area of substantial or high transmission rates mm. um, and what type of setting you're going to. If it's going to be an outdoor setting, um, that's a lot safer than if we're in, in an indoor setting. And smaller groups, of course, are safer than larger groups as well. Yeah. So, Johnny, are you hearing people canceling their travel plans? And if so, what's the reason why? You know, I'm interested to in who they polled on this survey <laughs> because I have some friends are definitely yeah. traveling and I have others that are not. I think the ones who have kids are staying home. Yeah. Uh, the ones who aren't are going out. But I think over Thanksgiving, most of them are going to stay local. And then Christmas, I think they will go visit family afar. And I think a lot of people are renting houses instead of staying in hotels and just doing road trips. Well, you know, doctor, if people are traveling to visit family and they attend family gatherings, should they adjust or alter their plans if they have unvaccinated family members? Oh, that's a great question. So definitely, if there's unvaccinated family members, uh, keeping it smaller, keeping it outside is also a great option. Um, something to keep in mind, if you have family members that are fully vaccinated, but their immune systems are down, uh, going through chemotherapy or other treatments um, that would affect their immune systems, um, we, they should be treated as an unvaccinated patient, even though they're fully vaccinated, to make sure we keep them as safe as possible. So again, moving the, the gatherings to smaller groups or outside. So, Johnny, I know that you're really great about those deals that, when it comes to travel. So are there deals for people who do decide to travel this uh, holiday season? What's some of the best deals? You know what? They still are. You, you, gotta, you better get a move on, though, yeah. because I think every day they're going up something around 3%. Um, airfare deals. I just did a search right now from L.A. to New York for the day before Thanksgiving. $158. If you go the week before, it's 70. So my wow. advice is bad. to, you know, That's skip great. Thanksgiving and go the week before Thanksgiving or the week after. I mean, for actually for Maui, Hawaii, I'm not even sure if Hawaii wants you there because of all the infection rates, but it's only $95 each way nonstop from LA to Maui. If you go the week before Thanksgiving, it's eighty dollars. I mean, those prices. Jeez. I had I had to look up the date. I thought it was like nineteen seventy. <laughs> no question. I don't ever remember them being that low. Still get turkey either way. I'm not sure if I was flying in nineteen. Well, maybe a little bit. All right. Well, doctor, do you have different travel advice though for those who are vaccinated versus those who are unvaccinated? Travel advice we're talking about. Travel advice? Um, no, not in particular. Um, the really the the big CDC differentiation is the fact of the social distancing still recommended for the unvaccinated, um, the six feet social distancing. So that piece in particular. So Johnny, would you recommend international travel at this time? You know, I have some friends that prefer international travel because they feel it's safer. Because if you're going to a country that requires vaccination and a negative COVID test, they actually feel safer because the chances of someone sitting next to you on a plane having COVID are really slim. Although I have two little kids, so unfortunately I think it's just too risky. So I'm staying home. Um, I just don't want to get stuck because, you know, every, no matter if you're American or vaccinated or not, everyone coming into America needs to do 
a COVID test be, three days before, and it, you have to present a negative test before getting on the plane. And if it's positive, you're stuck at that place for at least 10 days and usually at your own expense. You know what? That is food for thought. It is. Thank, yeah. uh, speaking of Thanksgiving and yeah. all that. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Johnny Jett, as always, and Dr. Megan Mesher-Cox for your excellent advice. And